Hey yo, what's up everybody, Holmes here and welcome to my Scarlet Nexus boss fight guide and here's my brain map and my equipment setup for this fight uh, against Kasane's team well, when you encounter her at um, I think this is Mitsugawa district or something like that anyways, um, you fight her, Arashi and Kagero so what I like to do here is I want to use Gemma's armor and try to douse Arashi with Oreo here. And once that happens, switch over to Hanabi's um, fire and just just burst her down with damage. Just keep on using your combos. Um, at this point, I have the five hit combo, so I'm just gonna try and finish her off with that. She went into her drive, um, brain drive. But don't worry too much about it. If she does like start hitting you, um, you can back up a bit and then uh, continue your attack. Don't go like toe to toe with her too hard as well because um, you don't want Kasane to like all of a sudden throw a debris at you or something like that, or Kagero throw a shuriken or whatever the heck he throws at you and takes you out because you barely have any HP. So yeah, and after you're de you're done dealing with Arashi. Use Gemma's armor again, and that was um, Kagero this time with uh, oil. Same same tactic. Um, once you hit him, like once you coated him with oil, just spam your attack on him and finish him off that way. Um, yeah, the reason why you want to use Gemma shield is because just in case you get hit while you're trying to like use your L2 attack with the oil. Um, you don't want to get interrupted and make sure you save these um, antenna poles because you can do this again with Kasane okay you can do this clash and you can take out a lot of her um, crush gauge that way so make sure when you're using the L2 you're picking up the oil drums instead of the freaking uh, the antenna poles antenna poles okay and so when she gets back up you can do it again and then the cutscene will happen again so this is very um this is probably like the easiest way to take out her crush gauge, I would say. So once you take her crush gauge out a little bit more. Um you can also use uh Tsugumi's uh clairvoyance. So if she does do like a melee attack at you, um you can counter and once you do this perfect dodge counter attack. Uh, you'll immediately drop her when you're in um, Tsugumi's um, clairvoyance. So it's extremely useful to use that. And then she should be going into brain field now. And at first I was a little bit worried that <laughs> she unlocked this and I was like, oh shit, you know. But the easiest way to avoid getting wrecked in this area or your team getting wrecked it's you stay mid distance don't get too far away from her because if you if you leave her like attack range too far she starts attacking your team although she'll sometimes start attacking your team either way so yeah it's it's probably good to have some like um team healing items like all light jelly or all medium jelly but i think light jelly should suffice you don't have to use medium so yeah, um, so you can keep your team alive. Although I don't think your team is really necessary for this 1v1 fight or 3v1 fight in my case. So she's attacking again and I know there's like a refrigerator somewhere here that I can hurl at her. So if you don't have this, you can just use perfect dodge to take her down. But since I have it, see ya Kasane. And that's pretty much going to wrap up the fight. So thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And we all found at least one of those qualities in this video. Like stay tuned for more. Until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Oops. Oops.